Hello. I got to speak to Ricky, please. This is Ricky. Hey, Ricky, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. This is what? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning, the radio show. What is that? The radio or the radio show? Because the radio is a device that you can listen to a lot of things on. Music programs. I know what a radio is. Why are you calling me? Oh, I'm calling you today because one of our listeners emailed us about you. Somebody that you know very well. Okay. I mean, you have a puppy with her. You should know who it is. What, why are you asking all these questions? Well, I'm asking you because we do a segment on our show called The Second Date Update. So you recently went out with Becca. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Becca. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> that sounds funny to you. I don't know why. And she emailed us because she said she's been trying to get a hold of you since you guys hung out all day. You bought a puppy together. You spent the night together. And then you were gone. And she doesn't know why you're not calling her back. Okay. And now you just want to talk about this. Well, yeah, because yeah, pretty much. You, you're not. She doesn't know. She doesn't know what's happening. She thought that I don't know that something maybe bad happened to you. She wants to know why you're not calling her back. Well, I mean, does that even matter? Of course, it I matters think to her. It matters yes. for sure. You guys, like, you bought a puppy together. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's my thing. What do you want me to say? What do you mean it's your thing? You stayed the night and you wrote her a note that said "Love Ricky." Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of guy. I'm. You know, you might get a puppy. You're probably gonna get a puppy. Huh? Wait a second. What? I, uh, all right. I mean, if you you got to know, like, yeah, I like to buy girls puppies. Wait a minute, though. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You kept the puppy. Do you have like eighty puppies at your house? I don't know. It's my move. It's what's what you know. It's my thing. You want me to yeah, talk but... about it? I mean, what? You never heard of something like this? No, no, I've never heard of a dude that just meets women and buys them puppies. Of course you didn't, because it's what I do. Okay, wait, okay, well, how do you, what do you do with the puppy afterwards, though? That's the question. You took, she told us that you spent the night, and then you were gone, and so was the puppy. Yeah, I have this arrangement with my friend. He works at a pet store, you know, and if he sees me walk in with a girl at the pet store, he knows that there's a particular puppy, you know, and I give her the puppy. It works every time. Wait, I don't get it. works for what? You, you know, you, pick, you want to pick up a girl, you give her a puppy. <laughs> okay. true, but it doesn't make any sense. You were already out to lunch with a girl before you bought the puppy. I mean, you already picked her up. It's a first date move, though. Like, you know, you know you're going to feel the deal if you give her a puppy. It works like a charm, honestly, and they love it. Oh. So, wait, you're trying to get <laughs> off of puppies? I'm not trying to. I do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we only know one person that's come in contact with you, and it worked with them. <laughs> it, always, it always works. Oh, my Dude. God. Okay. <laughs> What? I mean, dudes walk dogs, and they get to meet girls when they're walking the dog. I mean, I just give them the dog. <gasps> I'm cutting out the walking part. What happens to the puppy, though? You know, in the morning, I bring the dog back. Oh. I, bring the, I bring the dog back to the pet store. Yeah, my friend takes it back. <laughs> oh, my God. What, am I going to take care of this thing? You're crazy. <laughs> bring it back. But, Ricky, do you understand what you're doing? Like, you're doing more than just getting laid. Like, you are roping these women in to believing that you want to have a future with them. Whatever, if we went out to dinner, am I making a commitment to eat dinner with you for the rest of my life? No, but you're not taking care of dinner for the rest of your life together. As a, Like, it's joint custody of a puppy. Come on, if you believe that we're going to have a whole life together just because I gave you a puppy. I mean, and honestly, that's really stupid. <laughs> oh, my God, now you're calling her dumb? <laughs> I mean, come on. You just meet this guy, and the first day you're, like, making plans for the rest of your life based on a puppy? I mean, you, you have to be a moron. Dude, she well, you Ricky, mind. after that... I would like to tell you that somebody wants to talk to you because oh, Becca no. is on the other line and she just heard everything you said. Ricky, Ricky, are you kidding me? Is that true, everything you just said right now? Wait, what? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Ricky, stop playing stupid. I just heard everything you said to these guys. Wait, what, what exactly did you hear? I heard that you buy puppies to get girls into bed with you. No, that's not exactly what I said. So <laughs> what? That sounds like it was exactly what you said, Ricky. Oh, Ricky, you cannot backpedal on this, man. <laughs> no, I think you probably you just like missed something or whatever. I mean, yeah, I buy girls puppies, but like those just stuffed animals. Like I bought you a real puppy, you know. <laughs> you're the only no. one, honestly. You're the only one I've met that's special enough that I wanted to get a real puppy for, you know. Oh, freaking liar, Ricky. No, Ricky, I don't. Those other, I don't think those so. other girls like they just get you know a little teeny stuffed dog or whatever it's, no, it's nothing they meant, they meant nothing to me that's bull i just heard you say that you have a friend at a pet store and he gives you a puppy to give to girls no no i said that my yeah my friend's at the pet store but i you know i had to give the i had to get the dog you know it's shots 
Oh, puppy really, Ricky? Back to so if she went back to that same pet store where you got the puppy to begin with, that same puppy wouldn't be at the pet store right now? Yeah, no, it's getting its shots. Yeah, and she's, you know, so it's, I mean, I'll, you know, I can have, why don't we go out, let's go out Friday. And I'll, like, I'll bring no, the puppy. Ricky, yeah, she, Ricky. should have all the shots by then. Come on, man. Be honest. I'm being honest. No, you're not, Ricky. I literally just heard you say that anybody who believes you is a total moron. No, no. I mean, that, that was the other girls. Like, you're, you're not that. You're special. That's why I got you a real dog. <laughs> I'm not lying. You're just like misunderstanding. Oh, my happening. gosh, Ricky. Oh. When we were having lunch and, I don't know, just, do you remember, remember the conversation we were having, the way we were vibing, <gasps> the way we were talking about, like, I don't know, you know, like, we have this chemistry, you have to admit. There's just something between us. Mm -mm. You know, that's what I was trying to say. Like, <laughs> and that's, that's why I bought you the dog. Like, mm -hmm. it's an instant connection, and I just wanted to give you a dog to, you know? <laughs> um... Look, I, I don't know if I believe you. What do you mean you don't know? You don't know. You Did don't you hear everything him? Ricky said, Becca? I don't know. I mean, <sighs> Becca, Becca, just listen to me. Like, I, I don't know exactly what I said before. Like, I, I was getting a little flustered. Like, oh. me on the radio, and things are getting confused. Like, if anything came out like the wrong way, like, I'm sorry. I know things can be misconstrued. Like, I'm trying to tell you something. You know, I'm trying to tell you how much I care about you. So, shut up, you know? dude. Let's just yep, let's just try I, to like move past this and you know, like I said, I'll, let's get together Friday and I'll take you out to dinner. Gross. I just want to make sure that, that you're not lying to me. No, but... Becca, he is lying to you. He's a con artist. Do not listen to him right now. I know you want to be in love, girl. I know you want that whole day to be true and the puppy love Becca, and all that stuff. It's don't not. Listen to them. Becca, don't listen to them. I'll see you Friday. I'll pick you up and then we can go get sprinkles and like, you know, you, you know, sprinkles face when you like she sees you when she's going to freak out. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that does sound kind of nice. Oh, my God, my head is going to explode. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice. Uh, like I said, she's getting her shots, and, you know, she's going to be so excited to see her mommy, so oh, it'll be fun. Gross, dude. Oh, my God. All right, well. so gross, Ricky. Let me officially ask, Ricky, would you like to go out on a second date with Becca? We will pay for it. We're going to pay. No way. Yeah, of course. I mean, let's just go over time, and I can prove to you that I'm a good guy and that I really, I really care about you. Gross. <laughs> we did have... An amazing time oh on that God. date. Oh, Becca. Becca. No, we did. We did. Oh, God. All right. You were the most beautiful well, woman on the planet. Wow. I guess it's a successful second date update. Oh. Congratulations, <laughs> Becca. You got a second date with Ricky. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Which Becca. actually, I think, is a pretty impressive feat. It doesn't sound like a lot of girls get another shot with Ricky. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so excited, guys. I really am. All right. Well, yes. you guys have fun. And I guess, Ricky, the next thing for you to do is get on the phone with your friend and make sure the sprinkles are still there. Oh. Ah, uh, sprinkles is there. Yeah, right. Okay. Rogan Jubal in the morning.